You do you know you're going to heaven? God. No. Why don't you know you're going to heaven? Because it's only through God's mercy that you can get through heaven. So you don't know. So all these things you're doing is pro is a probability that you get to heaven. And that's that's what you have to humble yourself. How and, and can you listen, believe you that? Know, when you guys when you guys in a frenzy only, and touching the kebab? No, doesn't you know, only if you're rich and famous. You want me to bring up the video? Only, yeah, but those are rich and famous people. When you go to Mecca, would you bow to the kebab? Yes, but you know idolatry. <laughs> In the Quran, yeah. what is he saving you from? Because you don't accept him as a savior, but the Quran calls him a savior. What do you call the prophet? the Lord. Isaiah 42 yeah. is referring to the Lord. Are you telling me that that's referring to Muhammad? A champion. Do you realize how weak that argument is? So you believe kissing the black stone will forgive, forgive your sins? Yeah, Muhammad said it then, yeah. But only God can forgive sins, yes. so the black stone is your God then? No. To face anywhere, to pray. Oh, what's going on? What's going on? Bilal, sorry, sorry, sorry. If you bow, Hello, I didn't even know whether you saved or not. If you bow to the Kaaba in Mecca, it is idolatry. If you touch the black stone, it is idolatry. Can we have conversation though? Muhammad was never called by the God of heaven. Can we have conversation? Muhammad is an imposter who hasn't been sent by God. I am not mincing my words. It is Jesus Christ. Who has paid the price for your sin? No. So we can sin. No. Mohammed no. needs to repent, sin, and so do you. you no, he has you deceived you and is deceiving no, 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 no. millions of Muslims. God loves Muslims. He loves you, but you are greatly deceived when you bow to a square building in Mecca. There were 300. And 66 idols. I apologize. There were 366 idols in the Kaaba in Mecca. But till this day, you turn to the Kaaba and you bow. Idolatry. You touch a black stone and get blessing. For what? Idolatry. Jesus is calling all men to repent. There is only one way to the kingdom of heaven and is by repenting of your sin and accepting Jesus as your Lord and Savior. I apologize. Sorry. What question? Is it going to be a proper question? What's the question, sir? Jesus. Yeah. Jesus already paid for all of us, all, all of our sins. If you repent, he hasn't paid for yours because you okay, haven't repented. Okay, okay. <laughs> so you're still hellbound, brother. Okay, can, can you need to repent. Go ahead. Okay. If he pays only repenting, that means that I can do whatever I want. No, I never said that. He already paid do you want context? Do you want context? Uh, let me give you context. Good. There are three natures to the human human being. Human nature, sinful nature, divine nature. Yes. The sinful nature dominates you. It dominates us, yes, without God's intervention. God brought Jesus Christ to address the power of the sinful nature so that it is dormant, so his spirit can live in you and fulfill the righteousness of God. If you believe, when he went on the cross, his blood was shed and he calls everyone to repentance. If you repent, one question at a time, if you repent of your sin, and accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you will be saved. Well, it's easy. about faith. It is by faith we are saved. That's too easy. That's, that's the problem. That is the problem. That is the problem. You know why you say it's too easy? Because you, you are programmed to try and gain God's approval through washings and prayers. And you're trying to get God's approval. You don't even know if you're saved. You don't even know if you're going to go into heaven. But you're trying to. And God is saying, there is nothing. Hold on. There is nothing good in you and I. Exactly. Yes, that can exonerate us from our sin. All he's asking is that you place your faith in the one 
who has taken the punishment for your sins. Amen. And it is the only sacrifice that God will respect. He died for no reason. He died for no reason. He died for your sin. He died for you. You told me that he died for everyone. He died for everyone who believes. Because he's a perfect gentleman. He's a perfect He's not going to force you. There is a condition. There is a condition for that those who do not believe. If they are under the Old Testament laws. Did he, did he and you're under the wrath of God. Did Jesus die for us? Exactly. So you don't need to repent. I, I didn't exactly. have to believe that. So if you don't condemn, believe, right? you're under the wrath of God. Listen, if you believe in Jesus right. Christ, you're no longer under the wrath of God. Amen. But under the law of grace. Listen, Amen. So you cannot continue yeah. in sin. Because that is an abomination against Christ. Yeah, you can tell. I didn't have to believe that Adam was going to be. He's not. Listen. He's not an argument against my point. I didn't have to believe that I was going to be an argument against my point. But you believe I was. You're still under the law of sin. Or the law of sin. Whether you believe it or not, you're still under that law. Because you are under the law of sin. You are under the law of sin. If you repent of your sin and accept him as your savior, because he's a perfect gentleman, he's not going to interfere with your free, free will. He's not going to do that. A God of love doesn't program you to do right. That's a bully and a dictator. A God of love gives you the freedom of choice. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. I'm taking a phone from you. Yeah. And I'm walking away. I'm walking away. You have the choice to follow me or not. Or not. You have the choice to act now and take your phone back or not. What are you going to do? Right. So you've made a choice. Yeah. Right. So that's your will, your free will, to take your phone back. How can our free will override God's will? No, I'm not saying it overrides God's will. He allows you to have a free will because a God of love. He wants some people to get to hell? No. He wants people to make a choice. He has made it easy. He laid his life down so that you would have eternal life that when you leave this earth you spend eternity with him he's he already made it all he's asking you all he's asking you to do is believe and most people are going to hell why would you create, why would because we don't want people in hell it break, like no no god never created a world like that god created a perfect world adam and eve chose to sin and therefore in comes in comes no Listen, yes he does, yes he does, listen, God gave them the freedom of choice, no it's not, God is a God of love, and a God of love must give you freedom of, freedom of will, no, no, they made a decision to sin against God, and that's why we're all under the law of sin, it does, it's the truth, it's the truth, but you, your book came 600 years after the fact. 600 years. Why should I? Why should I go to a book? Why should I go to a book that that says itself that it's written to confirm the book that existed before, the Torah and the Injils? Why should I therefore go to the Quran to confirm what the God, God is saying? Because it's pointed to the Torah and the Injils anyway. You don't have the That's like, the truth. That's like when Moses came to the Lord and then Jesus came a thousand years later and was some around that time, right? So why would you not? Why would it's the same thing? Yeah, but Islam is the third testament of the first yeah, revelation. It was Jesus speaking to Moses. So you can't use that logic, oh, this came after which it can't be real. Yeah. Because you believe in Christianity when that, that came after Judaism. No, it's a bit more than that, brother. No, Listen. I know it is, but that, you just said it's yeah. You've got to understand what is the nature of what is the nature of Jesus Christ? He's a man according to us. According to you. But in the Bible, does he right. say does he say to believe in one God? In the Bible it teaches that he's fully God and fully man. Does he say to believe in one God? Fully God and fully one man. He said I'm fully God and fully Fully God and fully man. That's what it says in the Bible. John chapter one yeah. verse one to six it talks about Jesus Christ himself yeah. in the beginning was so the Jesus word says it. Nope. Okay, no, in on. the beginning was the word yeah. the word was with God the yeah. word was God yeah. and through him yeah. all things were created okay. yes the power to create is yeah. a divine attribute in verse 14 it says and the word put on flesh and dwelt among us fully God fully man 
Therefore, fully good, fully, fully good. good. That's what it's saying. Okay, okay. It, new, in I'm the Torah, new. in the Torah, yes, it's in Isaiah 9 6, it says, Unto us a child is born, okay. a son is given, his name shall be mighty God, everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Okay. So Jesus, it defines so Jesus him. is God, right? Jesus is God. And God is God. You want me to as you want me to explain the divine nature? No, no, no. I'm asking you a question. So you believe Jesus is God? Are you I'm questioning the Trinity? Are you question the Trinity? No, no. Yes. Are you questioning the Trinity? You believe that Jesus is God and God is God. Okay, let's see what Jesus says. Huh? Let's see what Jesus. This is the red letter Bible. Right. Go on. This is eternal life that they may you the only true God. Yes. And Jesus Christ whom you said. Sorry, say that again. The only true God. Yes. Yes. So no other, the only yeah. true God. Yes. And Jesus Christ whom you said. Do you want me to explain that? You're gonna listen. Yeah. Right. I said he's fully God and fully man. When he was on this, let me finish. Let me finish. Okay. There were times that he expressed himself through his humanity. So when he says, "My Father is greater than I." That was his humanity expressing, yeah. yes, servitude, yeah, as a, yeah. yes, yeah. to God. Yeah, as a but there were times when he said, me and my father are one, yeah. we're yes, equal. That was his divinity expressing his authority. So there were times. Your interpretation no, it. that's what the Bible teaches. That's what the Bible. You just don't want to say. You just don't want to say. No, no, I'll read it then. You don't want to accept it. That they may all be one, as me and the Father are one. Yes. And I indeed. So what is it? What is that oneness? Huh? The same, All right, go. the same oneness that he has with the Father, he has with the disciples. Yeah. No. Go on, go ahead. Go ahead, as go ahead. Are one, okay. That they may all be one as I and the Father are one. Yes. The Father is in me and I am in thee. That yes. they may also be one in us. Yes. So just as him and the Father are one, the yes. disciples are also one. Yeah. So when he says me and my father are one and they yes. tried to stone him, yeah. why were they trying to stone him? Because they misunderstood what he was saying. No, because but, but they, told no, they made it very clear. Yeah. They, told they said, you, thank you. Yeah. You, yeah. being a man, yeah. are equaling yourself yeah. to being God. So That's what we're about to stone you. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, Jesus point? never, never apologized for saying he's equal to God. Yeah, he go never go did. He never said he was equal. He go never apologized. Go what's 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 yeah. Yeah. They, what's That's why he was. That's why he was crucified. Blasphemy. He said the Father is greater than him, though. So he did not. Okay. So when he said the Father is greater than him, let me explain that, and I've explained it again. He is fully God and fully man. Yeah. There were times that he needed to express himself yeah. through his humanity. When so when he says, my father is greater than I, yeah. his humanity, yeah. yes, is expressing worship to the father, that the father is greater okay, than him. Hold on. That? And there were times that he says, me and my father are one. Yeah. They picked up souls to stone him. Yeah. Yes. You be man, make yourself equal to God because his divinity was expressing himself. Yes, divinity. Exactly. Divinity. It depends on the situation and the audience that he was addressing and what lesson he wanted to teach. Show me that from Jesus' mouth and soul. John chapter 1, no, no, 1 to 5. I'm not asking about John. I'm asking the about Jesus. No, the whole chapter of John chapter 1 talks about Jesus being fully God and fully man. Okay, no, I'm not talking about John the disciple. It's, it's defined. I'm asking Jesus himself, what did he say? Yeah, I've got a red letter Bible. But it's easy when Jesus says did, no just stuff Show like me anywhere in the, in the Bible where Jesus rejects worship. Yeah. Exactly. Show me anywhere in the Bible where he says, don't worship me, worship the Father. Except in worship <laughs> <the Lord. laughs> Show me. Honor me the same way you honor the Father, John 5. I'm Absolutely. Jesus, according to Jesus, who's the one true God? Huh? According to Jesus, who's the one true God? Who do you talk? There are three that bear record. That's fine, sir. Fake passports. They are liars. Lying passports. Yeah. What is his name? Yeah, you should be ashamed of yourself. God you are bless telling you. people to believe in stupid Jesus. Yeah. You are telling people to believe in the son of the devil. Yes. Was it God Jesus? God the Father. You should be ashamed of yourself. God the Son. Like God and God the Holy Spirit. Spirit. In the if book of Genesis, it says, can I just finish this conversation? Yeah, can I just finish There's this conversation? No Please go somewhere else, sir. Okay, we understand. We're Satan worshippers. Thank you. Bye bye. That's fine. God bless you. Bye bye. That's fine. Bye bye. Well done. There's nothing I can do for you. You really just use John 5 7. So, in the book of Genesis, it says, Let us make man. Let us, hold on. Let us make man in our image. What is he talking about? Yes? When you die, what happens? Yes. 
Resurrection. Your body, your body decays. But your where does your spirit go? Huh? To where? The buzzer. The buzzer. Who's the buzzer? Okay. Anyway, to God, right? In your what? what I'm, okay. So what I'm saying is, you've described two parts to you. Yes. When God created us, He created us body, soul, and spirit. But how come there's three parts to you, but I've only seen one? Not three parts. It's your body and then your soul. That's it. But okay, you agree that there are at least two parts. But how come I only see one part? Because the other one's metaphysical. No, because you are made, no. yes, in the design yeah. of God. God says, let us make man in our image. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. They are one. You are one, but there's more than one part to you. John 5, 7. So what's, why is it so hard to accept? Hey bro, give him the mic, he's smarter than you. He knows what to quote John 5, 7. I don't mind. I've got a bunch of quotes. You, you know, you know, yeah, you know that yeah, yeah, no, go ahead, go ahead, read it, read it. No, no, come here, yeah. you've got a large voice. No, me, don't worry, it's okay, you go. You okay, it's fine. So fine, I'll, I'll just read out what, what it actually says in John yeah. 5, right? It says here, and if you don't believe Jesus is God, you're going to have to deal with this, right? For as the Father raises the dead and gives life to them, even so the Son raises Amen. life to whom he will. In the Quran, it's only Allah that gives life, it's clear in the Quran. Let's read on. No, Jesus that all should honour the Son just as they honour the Father. He who does not honour the Son does not honour the Father who sent him. So Jesus is clear. If you don't honour God, you don't, you're not honouring him. But how do you honour God? How do you honour God? By following his messengers. No, not just that. Praying to him. Yeah, Worshipping him. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, just admitting yeah. that Jesus is God and he came to be God. We never said that. Thank you for admitting that Jesus came to be God. We never said Jesus to be God. Let's read it, right? This is what Jesus says in John 6, 40. And this is the word of him who sent me, that everyone who sees the Son and believes in him may have everlasting life. And I'll raise him up at the last day. Who is Jesus Christ that anybody who believes in him, not in Allah, not in the Father, in him, to be raised up? Who is this? The power to raise from the dead is yeah, is a, a divine attribute. It's, a it's not a miracle. Oh, Muhammad can't, can't do it. Did he raise anybody from the dead? No, no, did Muhammad raise anybody from the dead? Jesus did. It's not a miracle. By himself or by the will of God? Huh? By himself or by the will of God? Jesus raised... By himself or by God's will? When you guys are using the same word as God, be a cameraman, be a cameraman, be a cameraman. Let them speak. Your cameraman, let them speak. Your cameraman, let them speak. Your cameraman, do your job. Do your job. Do your job. Do your yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Do your job. Do your job. See, that's what they do. They misinterpret the Bible when yeah. reading into it. Yeah. That's what you do. But in, in, in the book of John, the same, the same chapter I sent you, it says, through him all things were created. Okay. That's a divine yeah, attribute. Just see what John says. Just see what John says. Jesus created everything. I've got a whole book of John here. That's what the Bible every teaches. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. You yeah. believe that because you believe in the Bible. It makes sense. <laughs> so bring any verse. I on my own can do nothing. Right. So can you say so you're in John 5? Right. Okay. Yeah. So I of my own can do nothing. Yeah. Was that his humanity speaking or his divinity? It's the truth, but it's the truth. Though. It does. The book of John teaches that. The book of John, fully God, fully man. No, 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 no. I'm being very fair. What I'm saying is, yeah. It's all right. It's all right. You know, no offense, brother. This guy's trying to distract because he doesn't yeah. want to get to the verse. Yeah. I want to show the verses which actually prove that what your idea of it is wrong. Because it says here, okay. John 5, 17 to 19. But Jesus answered them, My father has been working until now, and I have been working. Therefore, the Jews sought all the more to kill him. Because Why? Not only brought Why? the Sabbath, but also said that God was his father, making himself equal, equal. to God. Stop there. Equal to God. That's Jesus. Adam is called the son of God in the Bible. Huh? No. Adam's the oh, no, no, no. Address that scripture. Address it. Okay, I will. So because God is his father, that means equal to God. No, 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 no. I'm a read it, it. Read it again. Yeah. I'll read it again. If Why I'm... were they trying to stone him? Okay, can I ask? Why were they trying to stone him? Can I ask? Go you're ahead, saying sir. that because Jesus said God is his father, that's making him equal with God. No. So what are you saying? You're missing the context. I'm asking what Jesus answered them. My father's been working until now. And I have been working. He's working on the Sabbath, by the way. Therefore, the Jews sought all the more to kill him. Why? Because he not only broke the Sabbath, but, but also said that God was his father, making himself, himself equal, equal with God. to God. No, that's why you asked. That's Jesus. That's why you asked. According to the Bible, is Adam not the son of God? Sorry? According to the Bible, is Adam not the son of God? He's not the only begotten son, no. Not in the context. Not in the context John, of Jesus. Brother, John 1 18 Jesus. says that Jesus is the only begotten son. Of course. Jesus. So if Jesus is the only begotten son, Adam is not the son of God in the same no, sense that Jesus is. No, not in the same sense. That's what I'm saying. Son. The context of sonship 
You need to understand that. The concept of sonship with Christ is one of divinity. Well, according to the Jews and according to you. But we believe that he is God and the son of God who died on the cross. But not the true God. He's not the true God. Yes, he is. How? He is the true God. He's not the true God because he said the Father is the true God, the only true God. I wonder if Muhammad could say all this. Can't. So you're switching topics now? No, we don't worship Muhammad. Okay, okay. Carry Jesus on. is God. Muhammad yes, you do. God. Yes, you do. What? You do worship Muhammad. So Jesus is God. You follow his teachings. You worship him. Nah, it's, a, it's, it's a form of worship. So when you say he's a form of worship. No, no, stick to the topic. No, no, stick to the topic. That's worship. Stick to the topic. You don't know who Jesus is. You don't know him. You don't. You don't. You don't understand him. You don't know him. You don't know him. The whole concept of the Trinity was being insulting. Do you? Do you know him as a Messiah? You don't know him as the Messiah. What is Messiah? We believe that he is the Messiah. What does Messiah mean? A, a man who has come to save a nation. Now I ask you again. What, what do you be, you believe Jesus is coming back to do? What to save a nation? He's coming back to save a nation. To kill the Antichrist. Why is he coming back to kill the Antichrist? If you call him Messiah, if you call him Messiah, you're saying that he's officially. If you don't believe in your religion, no, 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 don't change the subject. Don't change the subject. Don't change the subject. No, brother, brother, brother. Your Easter is not coming back. If the Quran, if the Quran gives him the office of Messiah. It makes okay. more sense it's a religion. contradiction. Okay. So Messiah makes no back. sense in your religion. So he's back. Why is Muhammad called the Messiah? I'll carry on, carry on. So what I'm saying to you, exactly. if the Quran calls him the Messiah, they are attributing to Jesus that he's a savior. Yeah. Yes? Yeah. Then I ask you, yeah. what is Jesus saving you from? If you're calling him a savior in the Quran, in the Quran, yeah. what is he saving you from? Exactly. Because you don't accept him as a savior, but the Quran Calls him a savior. What? We a prophet. <laughs> It's simple. He's this a is a contradiction. Jesus. It's a major contradiction because the Quran calls Jesus a savior who has come to die for a nation. That's what your Quran says. Not my. I don't believe in the Quran, but the, um, by calling him Messiah, that's what it's saying. You guys go around calling him a prophet and said he's not blah blah and everything else. Oxen You're contradicted. Oh, brother, ask him why. Ask him why Muhammad isn't called a savior or Messiah if he's a lost prophet. Good question. So why is Muhammad not called the Messiah? According to us in Islam, each prophet have different different would have different names and different attributes. So it's just not one of his one of his attributes. Why is he not called the Messiah? I mean, from what I know. All the, all the prophets would be called a messiah. No, 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 no. no, no in the Quran, that. That Jesus is the only one called the messiah. Yeah, he exactly. has that special title. All right, okay. But Do you know what messiah means? No, you know, you know, messiah is a form of worship. No, when, when you see a king, when you see a king, messiah, no, no, messiah. No, it doesn't. But so if you so, ask so, any Jew, they were waiting believe for a messiah. Quran, then, so they had a concept of messiah. Does, yeah. Yeah. does yeah. Muhammad, yeah. does yeah. Muhammad yeah. not yeah. tell you? Understood that messiah would come and save them. Yes. So what would Jesus call in your Quran? He was a messenger to confirm the Torah. What, is that what Messiah means according to Jews? I wouldn't know the, the context of Messiah is a savior it's not a big, and yeah. someone who is worshipped. So exactly. That is the context. It's not someone who doesn't make him a yes, sir. God, yes, sir. It is. You can't take, pick and choose what you want. Do you see where the contradiction and deception lies? No, I don't. I really you don't. can't no. see. No, I can't see. Because you're just trying to play your what, words. Okay, why does Ma, Ma, does Muhammad instruct you to go to the people of the book? Yes, he does. I'm, I'm, I'm not the most learned man, so... Well, I can tell you that in the Quran, yeah. Muhammad instructs Muslims yeah. to go to the people of the book, okay. i.e. the Jews, yeah. and the book in question is the Torah. Yeah, yeah. So a ten the book. Old Testament. Yeah. Yeah. Yes? What about it? Right, good. In there, it recognizes that Jesus Christ is God. So, Isaiah 9.6 Unto us a child is born, a son is given, his name shall be mighty God, everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Exactly. And there's so many other scriptures that recognizes no, no, no. that Jesus is God. No. Why then don't you believe? Especially when the Quran comes 600 years after the fact. So Jesus is God, right? 
and you that's want me to, me to worship Jesus and say, bro, yeah, that's what you want. I, no, you, you know want. what I want. Okay. Do you know? Do you know what I want? What, what? I want to save your soul okay, okay, great. from this hell. Is, no, okay, no, 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 you need to that's understand. No, no, this no, no, is no, not fine. point scoring. I'm, ask you a question. I'm, I'm ask you pointing you to everlasting life. Let me ask you a question. You, you want me to worship Jesus? Right? I don't want okay. you to do anything. I want you, you, I want you to recognize one that you are a sinner in need of a savior. I want you to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. So you want me to worship Jesus. That's what I'm saying. You want me to worship Jesus. It's the only but sacrifice. Should I worship Jesus or should I worship God? Brother, I'm asking you a question. The only sacrifice for your sin is the blood of Jesus Christ. So God needs blood for his forgiveness. In the Torah, your, your, your God, without the shedding of blood, yeah. there is no remission of sin. So your God, God needs blood for forgiveness. Without the shedding of blood, yeah, yeah. there is no forgiveness of according sin. To you guys. That's, that's, that's why that's Jesus, according, 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 according to God, 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 that's why he sent his son, yeah. whose blood was shed yeah. once and for all, for past, present and future sin. It is by so grace we are right. saved. Through faith, is yeah, that yeah. Faith. So God it is by like works, works less a man should boast. Exactly, it is by grace we are saved through faith. Faith in what? Faith in Jesus Christ and what He's done on the cross. Jesus and Him crucified. By, being killed by His own creation, apparently. Huh? Being killed by His own creation. Jesus said, "No one <laughs> takes my life. I am laying my life down so he myself." Suicide. He yes, so he that the, so that he mankind did. can be saved. Was he murdered or did he, did he commit suicide? He the allowed the process. So he, he allowed. Okay. He allowed suicide. Let me explain it. <laughs> in the Jewish book, in the Torah, yeah. they used to kill a lamb yeah. and sprinkle blood on an altar. Correct? I don't know. Right, you should know no, I because know. I the Quran know. says. No, the Quran says <laughs> go to the people of the book. Yeah, exactly. Like and the people of the book. No, had a practice the, the people of the book had a practice no Torah, where they where they no killed the lamb no and they sprinkled the blood on the altar for the remission of sin yeah. the minus, day of minus atonement minus without the shedding of blood there is no remission of sin that ritual so that I the jews someone, I have to hold on lamb and I'm that good. ritual of the jews yeah. yes was there to teach them yeah. that one day yeah. jesus is going to come and his blood will be how shed do you, how do you get that once and for all. If you murder someone, you will be killed yourself. Yeah. Old Testament law. Okay. So you can't just shed blood. Okay. The reason why we shed blood, bro, is because in the Old Testament it says that a, a man who sins, yeah. he is to die. Yeah. Right? In the Old Testament it says the life of the man is in the blood. Right? So instead of paying, you pay for that punishment by dying yourself, you would sacrifice the land. But we in the New Testament have a new sacrifice, that's Jesus, who sacrifices a perpetration human, human sacrifice. For all our sins. You need a human sacrifice to be saved. God needs God. God doesn't need anything. No, listen. Without the shedding of pure blood, a pure spirit, there is no remission of sin. So God, Why? So God Why? Shed his own Let me blood. ask you. So God shed his own blood yes. and, 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 and killed himself to save, save everybody else. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, he laid his life because if not, your soul, the, the, the consequence of your sin is taking you straight to hell. And there'll be no remission and you're on a one-way trip. It's not just that. The whole of humanity would have had to have died because everybody would have sinned and fallen short. Died, not just die here. I mean, die internally in hell spiritual death, as well. spiritual death it's a bit confusing i'm not gonna lie it's a lot more easy in, in it's not hard to understand it is hard to understand <laughs> but you believe in three gods that's co-equal that's never one said we believe in three i never said we believe in three you don't believe in three you don't believe in no it's three co-equal parts no no, no, no no not parts let us parts. make man in our image okay us plural god the father son and holy spirit yeah. design what's your name uh bilal bilal i'm looking at bilal yes you have a spirit, correct? Yeah. You, you have flesh, at least. Yeah, yes? I hope so, yeah. So that's at least two parts. Yeah. How come I can only see one person? No, but what's the difference between the spirit and the soul? No, no, no. Don't divert. Okay. What I'm saying is, yeah. there's multiple parts to you, how come you can't but see my I only see one person. But how come you because, can't see my kidneys? You know why, Bilal? You because you reflect yeah. the design of God. No. No. You're made God's in his formless. image. God's You're formless. made in his image. God's formless. So why are you finding it so hard to embrace the because, Trinity? Because you guys believe in images and, and form where the Torah never... No, we don't. What's the Ten Commandments? Not we to don't. believe in an idol, no? We don't believe in an idol. We don't believe in an idol at all. We don't believe in any idol. No, no, no. So, yeah. 
But God has we a don't form. do that. Why so wait, wait. So, so if God, if God doesn't have a form, right? how do you know that He cannot be three persons in one being? Huh? If God does not have a form, because how do you know that He cannot be three persons one being? So that's like that's like saying, can God exist or not exist? Saying that obviously God is all powerful. It's not the same as God it's just not, not befitting. It's just not befitting for for a for a God to be in His creation. According to who? Right. So Allah said that it's not befitting for Him. Does that mean He can't do it? No, not necessarily, no. No, because God is limitless. And your Quran says in Surah 42, 11, that Allah is unlike his creation. Yeah. A, a being with three persons is unlike creation. There is no well, being is Jesus like is Jesus, is, is Jesus not like human beings? Jesus is, but a being that is three persons, yeah. right? One being three is in not one. in creation. He's three in one. It's not yeah, so, so, when so, so, who, when, so when, who do you, so why so do you worship Jesus, the Son and not the Father? The Jesus, the way, the Jesus the is the fully Father? God and fully man <laughs> okay so what's the difference between when you can only let me tell you something so what is idolatry then in your in your definition what's what's different from what's idolatry what is different yeah so you you, you don't you don't practice idolatry you're saying right? no so if you were to practice idolatry how would you do it i don't need to know what you mean because it's one of the commandments there are three that bear record in heaven the father son and the holy spirit and these three are one Okay. No, yes, I worship Jesus, I worship the Father, and I worship the Holy Spirit. I These three are one. Easy. I don't practice idolatry. If I was to yes, practice... Yes, you do. Okay, according to me, I don't practice... According to you, I do. Yeah, but you bow to the Kabai Mecca. We bow in a direction. You no. bow... What's the black stone? It's just a stone inside... inside you touch things. it. You don't when you guys are in a... You touch it. When you guys, when you guys are in a frenzy only, and touching the Kaaba... No, it doesn't you know, Only if you're rich and famous... You want me to bring up the video? Only, yeah, but those are rich and famous people. When you go to Mecca, would you bow to the Kaaba? Yes, but you're not... Idolatry! No, it's not. If you're facing the Kaaba... It's an inanimate object. No, it's sir. Not alive. If you're facing the Kaaba... It's not alive. And you're bowing to it, it's an act of worship. So, no. Sorry? When Jesus bowed down in the Garden of Gethsemane... To who? Who was he bowing to? Exactly. Jesus didn't bow he down didn't to bow. Satan. He was so, praying. So he didn't bow down to a sacred object. So, so he didn't put his forehead on the floor. Yeah, you do. No, he didn't. So Jesus never put his forehead on the floor. What, in the Garden of Gethsemane? Yes. Yeah. Where in the Bible does it say Are you saying he didn't? Where are you saying he didn't, though? He fell on his face. Thank you very much. Yes. I never seen a Muslim fall on his face. We pray every day. Yeah, but you're bowing nicely. Touch carefully. You bow down to the floor. You've never seen a prayer because you can cry and worship. Yeah, but even if he fell down and worshiped, who is he worshiping? Exactly. Who? Is an object? Yeah, it must be yeah, something in front of it. Like I said, the cover doesn't make like sense. A, like I, no, listen, listen to the explanation. You're wrong though in this Listen to, listen to, listen. listen. Yeah, okay, listen. Jesus was fully God no. and fully man. No. Wait, no. wait. Okay. His humanity yeah. was bowing and yeah. worshipping. His divinity was intact. Okay. So you worshipping your prophet? So That's worship. what the scripture so God, teaches. So God is worshipping his bowing no. down and worshipping. His humanity so why is, is worshipping so the Father. Why is he crying uh, blood and, and... Through his humanity. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So through his humanity. So, so when he was a baby and his nappy was getting changed. Humanity. humanity. And when he went through puberty. Humanity. And when he was taking dumps in the toilet. Humanity. Okay, so God takes dumps and then God was crucified and your God dies. Absolutely. He laid his life okay. down. Yeah, I don't believe He that. laid his life down. Yeah, I don't believe God Once can die. and for all for the whole God, of mankind. I don't believe God can die. God can't die. Anyway, you said, you said uh, about uh, it's idolatry to, uh, to put your head down and worship the Kaaba. We don't worship the Kaaba. Yes, you do. Someone destroyed the Kaaba. Yes, you do. Who built the Kaaba? What was in the Kaaba before Muhammad came? Idols. How many idols? Oh, no, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on. How many who idols who were in the Kaaba? Who created the Kaaba? Created the Kaaba? How many idols before were in the, the Kaaba? Idols, before the idols, who created the How many Kaaba? idols were? No, 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 no. Because you were the one step. 169 idols, idols brother, were in name? the what was temple. Your name? What was your Alex. Name? Alex. 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 Okay, I'm okay, Be fair, right? You asked me a question yeah. about, about the things, but you're not going to. When was the according to us? When was the Kaaba created? According to us, do you know? You're saying yeah. it was Abraham, yes. right? And, it, and Ishmael, yes. Thank you very much. There is no scientific. I don't care if you believe in that. There is no historical evidence. We don't care. The only book that makes that claim is the Quran, which came 600 years after the Torah and Egypt. I don't care what you believe. I'm just telling you my perception. So why should I use it as a point of reference or authority? Well, if you don't believe in that, then why do you believe that the idols were in, in, in the thing? You're using the same. Because you agree. You agree that there are idols in the Quran. Hang on a second. So you're only going to agree with every point. 
<laughs> Did you agree that cheating. they were you're idols? Cheating. No, I'm not. You can't use the same no, word. No, 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 no. You're not denying it. No, because I believe in the whole of the Quran. Yes, so but you're not denying. You know what, stuff. You're not denying that there were idols in the Kaaba. No, I'm not. Right. And when you bow to the, the yeah. temple, yeah. that's still there. It's idolatry. It is. If anything, Islam is the most strict. The black stone. I see people in a frenzy. Listen, you're gonna hurt my fro, man. Listen, listen. I'm not used to this. From English, you don't know what the people that, that can only go and touch the black stone like the rich Saudis. If I went to Mecca, I'm not allowed in it. If I couldn't, if I never touch the black stone, it had nothing to do with my faith. Do you you have in your entire life? It has nothing to do with, with my faith. It's just something if you can do and you do it, it's great. If you don't do it, there's no problem. Do you understand? Yeah. Just like Hajj. If you can afford to go Hajj, then it's fine. If you can't, no problem. Well, let's look at let's look at let's look at some pictures. Yes. What's going on here, bro? Yeah, worshiping the Kaaba. Right. Well, we don't worship the Kaaba. Bro. Nobody worships Kaaba, my friend. Don't Come be on. silly. Yes, you do. You're being silly. <laughs> you do. We don't. We don't. Worship is you ask something of that thing. That is worship. That you believe that thing can give you power. That is worship. But we only worship. You God. bow to it. Any act of bowing to it oh, is worship. No, not necessarily. No, no, no. <laughs> not necessarily. What are you on about? Where's that, yeah, so where's that video? So Where is that video? I want to show the hadith first because there's a hadith oh, that sorry. says kissing the black stone to give sins. I want to find it. Yeah, yeah, yes, no, please. Yeah, that's find that. that. That's important. Wait, that's if you well, you believe it. that? Yeah, if you can do it. So you yeah. believe kissing the black stone will forgive, forgive your sins? Yes. 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 But only God can forgive sins. Yes. So the black stone is your God then? No. According to what? He says only he forgives sins. But the black stone forgives sins as well. No, the, the black stone can't. It's not a real. It's not a. It's not a living thing. The hadith. The hadith. The hadith. Sorry, it says that he, the black stone will forgive. Yeah, yeah, sins. but there'll be like there'll be like context to that. We only believe God can forgive sins, man. Yeah, but the if, the, if, if, sins if the hadith is saying that when you kiss the black stone, sins Excuse are forgiven. Me, Can I say yeah. Is that what Adif says? Me. You're obligated Islam, to follow it through. You know, you kiss it, I'm Ooh, Islam. Islam. Yeah, yeah, but it's still worship. It's worship. It is. Yeah. Why would you kiss a black stone anyway? Yeah. If, as if, an if act, die, why? If I die as a Muslim and I never you believe the black stone. that the stone takes your sins. No, That's why it's black. This is not a compulsion. Okay, so this is it. Sunan an Nisai. Surah. Surah. Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, Sunan an Nisai. 2919. It was narrated from Abdullah bin Ubaid bin Umar that a man said, Oh Abdul Abu Abdul Rahman, why do I only see you touching these two corners? It's about the black song. He said, I heard the messenger of Allah say, touching them erasing, erases sins, and I heard him say, Whoever circum circum circumnambulates uh -huh. seven times it is like free in a state so he's just talking about the carbon he's saying the carbon and the black stone could give sins and it raises them. in the hadith yeah yeah if you if you go around the carbon yeah seven yes, times of course yeah. if you go around the carbon idolatry no you don't worship that idolatry thing. it's no. worship it's worship no, 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 it no. is because only god can forgive no, no, sins no. No, no, no. there's conditions god says give. worship me in spirit and in truth of course we do that's it Jesus bowed to no one but God in heaven. He didn't use objects. He didn't use even the book of Acts says you ought not to think of the Godhead shapen by art or an object. It says that in the book of Acts. You ought not to think of the Godhead like that. We don't. We don't. So what are you, so what are you saying? So what do you say to this verse? Then? Look, they're worshiping. Oh yeah, yeah. Come. Yes. You're all around the Kaaba, you're facing the Kaaba, you're pre look, the Kaaba is at the center of worship. Center of center of center of worship. Center of worship. Center of worship. Idolatry. Yeah, no, no, but it's not only the center of Hang on, worship, it's the center of the whole world. Did you know that? You know before the Muslims used to pray in that direction, they used to pray in a different direction. You know before we used to pray towards towards Saudi Arabia, Jerusalem. Why do you need a stone to forgive Jerusalem? You know, it has nothing to do with... Who told you to face Jerusalem? That's how how they used to pray before. No. Yes. Where in the Bible? Does it give I don't care about the, Bible. the authority I don't care about to face the Bible. Jerusalem I don't yes, care about the when you pray? Where in the scripture does it say that? I don't know. I don't care about the Bible. Right. Anybody who faces Jerusalem and prays, that's a form of idolatry. Nowhere does Jesus instruct anyone to face anywhere to pray. Oh, bro, what's going on? What's going on? Bilal, sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. What's going on, brother? Relax. No, come, come, come. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Don't do that, brother. No, don't do that. Spark clean, brother. No, leave him, leave him. Don't do that. That's wrong. Don't do that. 
Don't do that. That's wrong. Sorry. No, no, no. No, no, sorry. Mental. Mental issues. No, we've got your back, man. No, hold on, hold on. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I, I plead the blood and take authority. In the name of Jesus, leave this place in Jesus' name. The blood of Jesus Christ. The blood. This is a holy place. This is a holy place. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. I bind that spirit. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We are covered by the blood. We are covered by the blood. Amen. I bind that spirit in Jesus' name. Amen. You will bow. Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior. Every knee shall bow. Every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Allah and I love you. And I love you. And don't make a mistake. Don't make a mistake. I don't understand. And see this as weakness. You know you don't have to protect me. Trust me. Yeah, yeah. Don't make don't make a mistake. Yes. Don't make a mistake to see that this is weakness. Yeah? I'm a child of God. Yes? And that's why I'm leaving it. But even in the natural, I'll knock you out. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. But I won't. I won't. I won't knock him out. That's not that's not Jesus. No, no, I was trying to calm it down anyway. Yeah, yeah, thank you. It's all right. Thank God bless me. Oh yeah, well, I wanted to say, right? Basically, yeah, he was wrong for doing that. Sorry. Regarding this first, right? So Allah says he associates partners with no one, right? He has no partners. But what this verse is saying is that there is something else that raises sin other than Allah. Otherwise, why does Allah use the black stone to erase sins? Listen, as a Muslim, I told you, I don't have to touch the black stone. I don't have to see it. It's got yeah, nothing to do with me. But Bilal, it's, it's, it's idolatry. It's not idolatry, my brother. It it's is. It's not idolatry because we only worship God. What's going on? And it's okay. conditions, and it's conditions to, to forgiveness. It's not just you kiss no. and, and then you go, Woo! The I'm only forgiven. the only forgi look the only forgiveness that is um the only forgiveness that God will honor is when you accept when you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Okay, let me ask you a question then. Sorry. Sorry. He's being quite aggressive, sir. For his own good, please could you address him? I'm not gonna take them. Huh? Right. He just, he just spat in his face. Quite aggressive, sir. Thank you, sir. So much appreciated. Okay. So it's a good thing I'm a Christian. So right you now. don't believe back in the day, bro. <laughs> what? So you don't you don't yeah. believe in idolatry. Uh, what is an example of idolatry according to you? And forget for, like if you were to commit. Well, idolatry is anything that becomes a point of reference yeah. uh, as an act of worship. Like Jesus. Like right. A man. No. Like a man. No. Like a man. Jesus is God. Jesus says, worship the Father in spirit and in truth. I.e. He taught us how to pray. He said, Our Father who pray? art in heaven. How did he say to pray? I'm saying it. Yes. Our Father who art in heaven, no, hallowed how, be thy how name. Did he pray? Our Father. In the Bible, how did he pray? Our Father. No, physically, how did he pray? Our Father. Standing up and sometimes he prostrated. Hands, so hands standing, hands on the knees and face on the floor. Okay. Just like Muslims. Let me, let, me, let, me ask you, let me ask you something. Just like Muslims. If you are tied up in prison, you can't kneel down. You can't move, yes? Are you saying that you, if you don't kneel down, no. you, God won't hear you? No, no, that's not true. Exactly. So where, you, where, where are you praying? From your head, from your spirit. Yeah. Right, but good. There's a, there's, a physical, so, there's a physical form no, you no, no, no. in order to See, this is the problem with Muslims. Physical. This is the problem with Muslims. You guys are, you like law and you like rituals you need and you like, you like um, process. No, hang on, hang on. You, you know, you've got to do this. You've got to wash 10 times. You've got to... All that is law, it can't <laughs> save you. These are legal requirements that you guys are still doing that can't so save you. you. It's your Sunday, faith. So when you go to church on Sunday, yeah. you, don't have a, you don't have a shower and a, get nice. You know clean. what I mean. You don't look good. I'm talking about ceremonial and spiritual washings. So, there's a difference. It's continual worship. It's, it's, it's 
an abomination. It's unnecessary. It's, it's it is unnecessary. No, that's, that's your, because you know why it's unnecessary? Do you know why? Exactly. Exactly. If you read Matthew 6, in vain do they worship me, exactly. teaching the commandments of men. Exactly. In vain. You can pray. You know when you pray five, six times, ten times a day? You're trying to get God's approval. You're trying to get God's approval. Please accept me. Please. God accepts you. No. He yeah. loves you already. Well, we sin every second. He accepts you day. if you accept Jesus Christ as no. your Lord and Savior. You don't need to do any work. <laughs> Just believe. No, that's easy. That's, that's not well, that's how God, that's no, God's that's design. That's Romans designed it. That's what the Romans No. You have to now follow as you put your moment. faith in Christ and what he did on the cross, yes, confess your sins and accept him as your Lord and Savior. You are saved. No. You don't need to pray 20 times. Is prayer necessary? No. Yes, yes. But it doesn't save you. It doesn't save you. Not and it doesn't no, give no, you the victory. Not necessarily. If, if your prayer is insincere, yeah, of course, it can become a ritualistic act if you don't have a, like an emotional... Yeah, but you guys are very ritualistic. Exactly. Because in order to, to enhance yourself, you have to do something... No, it is to gratify your conscience. You are praying these prayers... You know how hard it is to pray five you, times Are you, you going to go... You know how hard it is precisely, self-effort works. Yes, that's what life is. So, but that's <laughs> tell me something. What, what you are substituting hang on, hang on, hang on. salvation for works. If you want to get a medical what you're degree, doing. if you want to get a medical degree, you have to. But that's hard. your own effort. My brother, his there his is thing. nothing good in you. Do you think a God that good loves us. would want you to continuously fall in your face five times a day, the same stuff, over trying and over again. to get well, forgiven, trying, trying to be forgiven every day, brother? Do you not say praise be upon you? You can never achieve a place of righteousness in your own strength. Sorry, say that again. You can never achieve the level of righteousness that is required in your own strength. Doesn't matter how many times you I pray. Agree. I agree. Right. So you trying and trying to show. Look, look at God. Look at how many times I pray. No, look no, at how many. But that's what no, you do. You know, you do you know you're going to God. heaven? No. Why don't you know you're going to heaven? Because it's only through God's mercy that you can get to through heaven. God, so you don't know. So all these things you're doing is pro, is a probability that you get to heaven. And that's that's what you have to humble yourself. How and, and can you listen, believe are you that? Gonna let me speak? You can't believe that. Are you gonna let me speak? Are you gonna let me speak? Yeah, sorry, Blah. So you have to humble yourself. I'm heartbroken for you. No, that's what I'm no, saying. You're wrong. Because Go on. you have to humble yourself and realize, even if I was to give someone money or feed a feed a homeless person, is it true? Am I doing it for my own ego or am I really doing it for God? That is why you would always be checking These yourself. These things are good. Good. Yes, that's but, the whole purpose of it. No, yes, but what? How is your sin problem addressed? What do you mean? You're trying to address your sin problem through your works. Exactly. No, not only. This is what I, no, 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 no. You see, you said not only. In other words, you agree with me. Yeah, You're trying only. to use works to get yourself saved. Exactly. Listen, you don't. I tell you what. The yes or no? Hang on. I'll, I'll answer that question. Please. The prophet, yes or no? The prophet peace be upon him said that the pro, uh, a man asked him why would I pray five times a day he said if you were dirty and the river was next to you you were to bathe five times yes a day or would no. you not be pure answer, yes answer or no again. Answer question. I'll ask again yeah. yes are you trying to get are you addressing your sin problem yes by what you do yes or no by what you do, if you mean asking forgiveness. No, by the number of prayers, the number of times you pray. It's not necessarily, that. It's not, it's not necess it, that's just the commandment. It's not necessarily that you'll be forgiven for praying. You're not, for, you're not forgiven for praying. You're only forgiven. Don't change the context. It's not what the, I'm, you're try you're asking are me. you trying to get righteousness through your works of how many times you pray and all those things? It's only God through, through you can help you. Yeah. <laughs> Your conscience, you see where I'm going with this and I know that your, your soul is troubled because you can no, see, you can see where I'm going with this. No, say it again. What I'm say saying again. is say there is nothing good in us, including me. No, that's not true. There is that's nothing that, the heart of man is desperately wicked. We are corrupt. Yeah, I, you have a sinful nature a that sinful is nature. bending you but we, to corruption. But we also have an angelic nature. That's the whole, that's the whole dichotomy of the human being. Your sin separates you from God forever. Yeah, but we don't believe like you. Like we want but to, you are like separated from God. God. You can that. never come to oneness with God ever in your believe, own strength. We don't believe never. That. We don't believe that. Then you're lost. No. Enough. That's why Jesus was manifested. I'm not trying to be God. That's why Jesus was manifested. Oh, he recognized God. that there was nothing good in us and he stood in the gap, took the punishment that you and I deserve. And what he does, he imputes his righteousness. He imputes his blamelessness. So when God sees you now, you're blameless. You're justified because you've placed your faith in Christ what? and what he did okay, on the cross. Why would I place my faith in Christ and not God? Because he's the only sacrifice that the Christ, Father will accept 
for your sins. Well, this is the image of the invisible God. I, I only got son of God. So I, you, on, to honor the son, you have to worship. But I only, I mean personally, I would only worship the most powerful, highest being. That's it. I'm not worshiping anything and else. And God is saying, in order to worship him, you have to worship his son as well. No, that's, pay, that's idolatry. Son. It isn't idolatry. All right, let's change idolatry. the subject. Let me ask you a different question, okay? Okay. In the Bible, yeah, I can get the reference up if you want it. In Isaiah, it says that Jesus said another uh, another messenger or, or is coming to the people of Cada, who would be a warrior. What verse? What chapter? Isaiah 42. Okay. And you got to categorically prove that it's referring to the to the Muslims. No, no, I, no. Listen, and you got to categorically prove that, that Kedah means Mecca. Are you saying Kedah means Mecca? No, it, it means uh, the Ish Ishmaeli people. Huh? It means the Ishmaeli people. Right. From your own Bible, that's what okay. it says. Okay. What verse? Forty-two, eleven. What uh, Isaiah? Isaiah forty-two, eleven. Let's look at context. Let's go there together. That's fine. Okay. So it says another, another. No, uh, no, no. Don't go anywhere. Isaiah. Warrior, it's saying, listen, though. Okay. It's saying another warrior is coming to the people of Canaan. Let's go there. Let's, yeah, let's read it. Let's read it together. Let's read the whole chapter in context, brother. Anyway, why are we quoting the Bible if you don't believe in it? Because I'm trying to show you something from. No, the Bible. no, no. You're just using the Bible scripture to validate your point. Oh, you've been quoting the, the, the Quran the whole day. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Don't, don't but I don't, believe, I don't believe in the Quran. Yeah, but I wanted to show you some of the errors that were in there, so brother. This, this, I tell you why. Because we believe in the Torah and the Injil. No, you don't. You can't believe in that. The don't you don't believe in the Torah, the, the Old Testament. The, the Old Testament version. calls Jesus well, God. Show me where Allah says in his Quran there's an uncorrupted version of the Torah. What do you mean? Show me where he says that there's certain verses in the Torah that are not correct. Show me where he says that in his Quran. The whole purpose of why was it, the whole purpose of Jesus coming was that the that the the Jews were not following the way. So another it doesn't say the Torah was another, another messenger comes. Because chapter eight of the Quran says Allah's words cannot be corrupted. Huh? Allah's words cannot be broken. So that's what it says in chapter yeah, eight. Yeah, it's called a reference to the Quran, not anything else before. Okay, it doesn't say the Quran. It says the book. Exactly. What verse were you referring to? Forty-two eleven. Forty-two eleven. Okay. Let's who's been. Let's see. Let the wilderness and the cities. Lift their voices, they're the settlers. Let, let and the villages that Kedar doth inhabit. Let the inhabitants of the rock sing. Let them shout from the top of the mountains. Right. Do you agree that you need to read the chapter in context? Of course, yeah. Correct? All right. So let's go to chapter uh, verse one. The same chapter. No, behold, no, wait, behold. No, no, no. no, 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 no. That's true. We will. We, we you can can't do that. isolate we can do that. verse 11. We can do that. We can do that. Yeah. But we are going to do that. I just want to go to 42 13 for one second. Hold on. No, one, one. one point at a time. Okay, you mentioned. No, 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 no. I made yes. a point. Yes. And you made, you've made verse 11. Yeah. So let's look at it in context no, okay, before you move. Wait, 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 wait. I understand. I got the wrong verse. It was 42 13. All right, 42 13. The Lord will march out like a champion. Yes. A warrior yes. will stir up zeal. Yes. With shout, will, uh, will raise battle cry, and they will triumph over his enemies. Yes. What? Who's? Okay. So who's the I'm Lord? asking you, who's, who's the, the Lord? Warrior? Who's the Lord? Who's and who's the warrior? Lord is Allah. Yeah. And who? So, and so who the Lord is, Allah it cannot be man. And, and who? And who is the warrior? Okay. Then? So that's first fourteen. Who is the? Warrior? All right. All right. Stop. Like stop. Lord as a mighty man. Who is yeah, the warrior? Hold, hold on. I know. Just like I'm gonna catch you. Right, go on, go on, go on. Listen. Verse 14. Like right, yeah. So let's start from verse 1 and get context of okay, verse 14. We can do that only. Hang on, hang on. Wait, no. We can no. do that. I'm going to, we can do that, but on yeah. condition, if you ever quote the Quran again, we're going to go to the first verse. That's right. right. That's Perfect. right. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. 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 Okay, all right. So it says, Behold my servant whom I uphold, mine elect in whom my soul delights. I have put my spirit upon him and he shall bring judgment to the Gentiles. The Gentiles. Jesus right? never came for the Hold Gentiles. on. Oh, yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. He shall not cry, nor lift up, nor cause his voice to be heard in the street. A bruised reed shall he not break, and a smoking flax shall he not quench. He shall bring forth judgment unto truth. Hold on. He shall not fail, nor be discouraged, till he has set judgment in the earth, and isles shall wait for his law. Thus saith the Lord, the God, the Lord. He that created the heavens and stretched them out. He that spread forth the earth and that, that comes out of it. He that gives breath unto the people and spirit to them that walk therein. I, the Lord, have called thee in righteousness. I will hold thy hand. I will keep thee and give thee for a covenant for the people. Amen. To open the blind eyes, to bring out the prisoners from prison 
and they that sit in darkness. I am the Lord, that is my name, my glory, I will not give to the another, neither my praise to graven images. Behold, the, this, is, this is the Lord speaking, right? Yeah. I, the Lord, yes, yeah, yeah. This, yeah. he's the one speaking, I will not give my glory to another. Behold, the former things, Jesus. behold, the former <laughs> things are, have come to pass and new things do I declare. Sing unto the Lord a new song, his praise from the end of the earth. Ye that shall go under the sea and all that's therein, the isles, the inhabitants. And then it goes on. Let them give glory unto the, the Lord and declare his praise in the land. Yep. The, Lord the Lord shall go forth. The Lord, the Lord shall go forth. Not Muhammad. The Lord shall go forth as a mighty man. Amen. He shall stir up jealousy like a man of war. He shall cry, yea, roar. He shall prevail against his enemy. So the person being referred to here is the Lord himself. Okay. So coming to what part? What part of this is anything to do with you guys? Right. Verse what? Fourteen. I have long time holding my peace. What version of the Bible is that? Oh, here we go. Is that your get out clause? All versions the same. Thing. Ask you a question. We have just read to you the context I, yeah. of this chapter. Yeah. You isolated one verse. Okay. A, a bit like what Satan did actually when he went, when he tempted Jesus, yeah. and he says, "Does not the Scripture say?" How can God be yeah? tempted and by? And he took creation? it out of context. How can God be tempted by? His okay. Creation? Do you want me to explain that? Oh, it's hum humanity side. Do you want me to he explain it? Off the God side. Do you want Do you want me to explain it? No, no, no. Let's right. carry on. Right. Okay. So because it's, it's an easy explanation. So when did this happen? So you've, you've said this out of context. Okay, so when did this happen? The person being referred to here is, okay, is the so, Lord, okay, so, and the Lord is the one so speaking. So when did this happen? It's irrelevant. Why, why did you use, why did you quote that verse? Is it not a prophecy? Why did you quote is that, that a verse? prophecy from the Bible? Why did you quote that verse? Because and how does that connect to the my, Ishmaelites? Because from my understanding, the people of Kedar are, are, are the God. Verse 14. 13. 13. The Lord shall go forth as a mighty man. He shall stir up jealousy like a man of war. He shall cry, yea, roar. He shall prevail against his enemies. The Lord. So where and how does this refer to Muslims? 42, or? 11, people of Qaeda. Who are the people of Qaeda? Right. Let the wilderness and the cities thereof lift up their voice. Yeah. The villages that Kader doth inhabit. Kader. Yeah, where's Kader? Let the inhabitants of the rock sing. Let them shout from the top of the heavens. Where's Qaeda? So uh, what, sorry, what's that got to do brother, with anything? Brother, this is quoted of, of Jesus in Matthew um, 12, 15, 21. Where's, where's so it says here, one, one minute. Well, where's Kader? Where's You're saying where's Kader? You're saying where's Kader? Hang on. I'm asking a question. I'm asking a question. I'm asking a question. I'm asking a question. Okay, go, 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 go. No, don't, don't, don't. I'm asking a question. No, 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 I'm asking a question because you, you asked where is this verse? Where's Kader? So I'm, I'm, I'm going to show you, right? So I'm showing from Matthew, right? That this is from Jesus, not to Muhammad. It says here, Matthew 12, 15 to 21. Where is that place? Jesus, Jesus, aware of this, withdrew from there and many followed him and he healed them all, ordered them not to feel, not to make him known. This was to fulfill what was spoken by the prophet Isaiah. Behold my servant, servant, whom I have chosen, my beloved with whom my soul is well pleased, I will put my spirit upon him, and he will proclaim justice to the Gentiles. He will not quarrel or cry aloud, nor will anyone hear his voice in the streets. A bruised reed he will not break, and a smoldering wick he will not quench. Who is being referred to? justice, the victory, and in the name of the Gentiles. That's, who is that? This is Jesus. The Lord. Lord. Not, not so Jesus where is Kedah mentioning that? So, well, so why, is, why, is it, why is it relevant in Kedah? Kedah, Jesus wants to save the people of Kedah. He wants to save the people of Kedah. You said the Lord is coming to the people of Kedah. Yeah. I'm asking Kedah yes, you Kedah. but he's come to you lot. Are you, are you, you lot ain't showing up? Kedah is a Gentile nation. You like that one, eh? You like, you know, he won't you like that one, eh? just made a joke, relax. Yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah. He's you need to relax first of all. And get but he's given, he's, he's come to save Gentile you lot. Like, you lot are not Where is Kedar? Kedar is a Gentile Come nation. out! It's not a Jewish nation. What nation is it? I so, agree with why you. is that relevant? Why, why is that relevant? Where is it? Why is that relevant? Okay, where, where is it? We're asking you, where is it? It is the people of Arabia. Okay, have they repented? Okay, so... Have they repented? Because he loves Muslims, you know. He loves the people of Arabia. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah right. so, 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 so he mentions Arabia. Why is this relevant? Because 
why, why, yeah, why, why? Because Matthew didn't quote his that. Huh? Matthew didn't quote his that. It's called not Jesus. He said a warrior and like a champion. Was Jesus a warrior and a champion? Yes, he is. Was he a warrior? Yes. How was he a warrior? He spoiled principalities and powers. Yes. He took Satan down. He's a spiritual woman. No, he's not, you know he's the, not a warrior. You know, you know the God. You know the God. You know, you know the God. You know, you know, know, you know the God. You know the God. You know the God you serve. Do you remember the God you serve? Remember the God you serve? He took him down. The Stripped him of his power. Yes. Whosoever believes, whosoever, he whether it's Arab, whether it's Israel. Jew, it's whether it's whosoever. No, 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 We have been grafted in. That's what he says. John 3, 16. John 3, 16. Whosoever believes shall be saved. Who sir? Whether that's Jew, Greek, Arab. Catch me, you got caught yourself. I didn't get caught. You did. Because Hadar in your in your, in your Bible yeah. is Saudi is Arabia. A warrior, a person who came out of Arabia was a warrior. Are you saying this person is Muhammad? Of course. No, it's probably Muhammad. Of course. He's a warrior and he's the Lord. Look how great he's Lord. Lord me. I I know, know, I Bilal, Bilal, like take your glass off and tell me again. Whether you like it or not, yeah. say that again, say that. whether you like it or not, the prophet, the person here, the prophet Muhammad, was Isaiah, for, Isaiah 42, yeah, was, is was a prophet, right? And he said prophet, he says the Lord. Isaiah 42 yeah. is referring to the Lord. Are you it's telling me that that's referring to Muhammad? A champion. Do you realize how weak that argument is? No, when <laughs> verse verse one gives context. Who is speaking yeah. and who it's being spoken to? Exactly. It's very clear. Okay. It gives. This is what I'm saying. You Muslims, you take one verse, you isolate it, you take it out of context, yes, and then preach lies. That's what Satan does. That's what Satan does. Jesus called other people Lord. Are they their gods? Jesus called other people their lords. Does Lord mean God? Huh? Does Lord mean God? The Lord is God. Okay. So when Jesus called other people, other people lords, was that was that him calling? Yeah, the God. Prophet Muhammad came from the Are they gods? What is your point? My point is, Lord does not mean God. Which you just said it is. Lord is someone who's worshipped. Lord is someone who's worshipped. So Jesus worshipped other people. They are so how much gods do you have now? The lineage of all the other prophets came through. Tell me, go. In the court that we go to, you call the judge. We have it. We had him? this conversation they thirty minutes ago. You're thirty minutes late. No, but hey, you, can, then you can reiterate he's if you died it thirty minutes ago. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's a rejected son. We don't, we don't want, we don't like. Yeah. Do you show me where Muhammad Lord. said that he was he's from the prophet Ishmael? Can you show me that? Sorry, no. sorry. Hey, how you doing? Are you okay? But is it, is he's it from like Kaza? Kaza. I would believe that all Ishmaelites. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but but Jesus Abraham. came for the Ishmaelites. Huh? Jesus died on the cross for the Ishmaelites. He died for he you. Came for the he came for the Gentiles. Where do you get that from, though? Okay, he John three sixteen. John three sixteen. Whomsoever, 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 not Jews, okay. whomsoever believes yeah. shall be saved. Whomsoever. We can only accept it if you tear apart. The page yeah. and the verse yeah. that says, I Honestly. only came for the house Even of Israel. Make your mind. Yes. Even if he says that, whoever so says that, you know what? You know what? Whomsoever is whomsoever everybody. Is talking about the people in that oh the my God. God. Whomsoever means whomsoever believes. No. End of story. End of story. Don't change the context. Yeah. But ask him to take the page yeah. from the Bible okay. out. Was Jesus wrong then? Why? Was Jesus was Jesus wrong then? Because it will contradict you. Inshallah, I become Muslim. One time Jesus came, I came for Israel and one time he said, when he said, I only came for the lost people of Israel, was he lying wrong or was he just okay. saying? His ministry was for Israel and then he sent his prophets out to uh, evangelize, evangelize the world. Evangelize the Are you going to listen? What prophet Are you going to listen? It, it, salvation to comes to the Jews Moses. first. Before, 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 yes. After. yes. I'm, I'm salvation I'm comes to the Jews John first. Was not prophet, was and then well, everybody not else is added on. Salvation, God came to the Jews first to evangelize, to save them and evangelize and get them to evangelize the world. And come to monotheism. The Jew first and then the Gentile. Doesn't we are grafted in, in because you know salvation is, is of the Jews. It is. Yes, it is. Jesus was a Jew. 
You don't know what Monopoly Salvation is of the Jews. We were grabbed. So why you call we were Christian? Christian. Because in, in, in Galatians chapter 3, I believe, it says that we have become seeds of Abraham by faith. As we put our faith in Christ, we have now been grafted in to the you know, promise. You're, 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 what do you mean? You just said he's unlocked his creation, but he, he doesn't believe one. So you're Allah says in the Quran? He doesn't believe in one. No, you're Quran, you're God one. That the world yes, is one. God is one. Right. So your God says he's unlocked his creation. How is he on? How is it like a number then? Explain that to me. How is he like a number? No, that's what he says. A number is a concept. Whatever. A number is a concept. No, but Concepts are created. You're shooting yourself in the foot. Is your God like the creation? Right, no, my God is not going Okay, to is it? Is three a creation? Is it but three a creation? They are made in his image. Yes. Come on, is three a creation to you? They are made in his image. Is yes. three a creation to you? Bruv, three a creation. Bruv, yes. yes. What? So so sorry, sorry, hold on, hold on. Hold on. No, you're seeing yourself. Same. How many people am I seeing here? My God doesn't say he's unlike his creation. Your God does. How many are you? My God doesn't say he's unlike his creation. There's one person. Okay. When you die, what happens? Is your God like the creation of When he dies, what happens? We're not talking about that. No, 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 no. I'm going somewhere. When you die, what happens? that you believe in one God. You reject what is one What happens to his body? One God is one God. What's the nature of God? Okay. It will decompose. What happens to his body? Decompose. What happens to his spirit? God says you have one family. Huh? Goes back to. Have one family. Right. Yeah. What is a family? We don't believe because it's yeah. made up of parts. Do you have a spirit? We don't believe okay. anything yet. Right. So Does your you spirit God, separate you from your flesh? Okay. It's in the grave. You want the nature of God? In the grave. Does your God spirit separate from your flesh? Not, yes. So there's at he least two children. parts to you. Is, Correct? Is, is it not in How come I can only see one person? Because of course he doesn't. You're Christian. How come you can't see Do you know where I'm going? Do you know where I'm going with this? How come you can't see gamma rays? God says, let us. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, brother. No, no, no. You're not getting away with that. You're not getting away with that. Bro. Wait. No, 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 no. Why can't you hear You don't understand why you like a dog. You're, you're the Bible. Saying, we have Hold on, 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 listen. God says, God says, let, let us, wait, 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 let us make man in no our, sense. wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, wait, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, God says, let us make us, make man in our image, hold on, why are you to bear him, 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 hold on, hold on, relax, everybody, calm down, calm down, I'm giving you an example, the Bible says, the Bible says, yeah, let us make man. Phone. Hold on, brother. Hold on. Brother. Hold on. Don't it's worry. I'll catch him up. I'll catch him up. Wait, wait. The Bible like says, the Bible says, the Bible says, let us make man in our, our image. Yes. Okay. Now, when Adam was made, yes. It, how many people no, were made? No. Is he like one person. No. One person. Right. When Adam dies, what happens? His body decays because of sin. His spirit goes back to God. That's because he's a prophet. So there's at least two people. At least two parts to him. I didn't say there was parts. Yeah. I said how is. Are there at least two parts to us? Yes. yes. So how come I only see one person? You know why? Because you reflect the design of God. Let us make man in our image. Body, soul, spirit. But I see one person. You reflect the design of the Godhead. Do you understand what I'm, where I'm going? So all this, so all this nonsense about how can I be free in God? How can I be free in God? It's very simple. How? God is unconceivable. Hold on. But bowing, bowing to the Kaaba in Mecca has made sense. Bowing to a building where there are 366 idols makes sense. What if touching a black stone makes sense? You're challenging the truth. You touch it. You kiss it. You worship it. Embrace your idolatry. Black stone. Kiss it. You kiss it. Why do you bow to it? Why do you bow to it? Because it's a direction of prayer. It's, 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 okay. it's idolatry. Okay. You're saying idolatry. Jesus says, worship God in spirit and in truth. Is that idolatry? You don't. Brother, listen, come on. Listen, listen, come on. Listen, 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 I love you. Listen, listen. Jesus listen, loves you. You're stuck in the desert. Yes, yes, please. You're stuck in the desert and you don't, you don't know which way the cover is. Brother, you you God, God is everywhere. You can pray in God is worshiping in spirit and in truth. That's what the Bible says. Him. So, okay, the Abraham never built Where is, show me the scientific, historical evidence that Abraham built that Kaaba. Would they? 
Who? Albert, where's the evidence? Passion, well, it's hearsay. It's emotion. There is no proof that Abraham built the Kaaba in Mecca. There isn't. All right. So you sent out the forensic team, yeah, and that forensic team was able to say, "Oh, this belongs to Abraham," right? He said there's a footprint near the Kaaba, which proves that Abraham built it. They say that. They say that. And you believe it? Yeah. Have you proven it? I can't prove it. Don't believe it. it. <laughs> Why are you believing it, brother? Yeah, 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 yeah. I have to believe it. Can't you see all these little pieces of deception That's leads to bondage? You're, you're angels, semantics right? deception. You How are you going to prove it? Right? How are you going to prove it? You believe in angels, right? I don't worship angels. No, I'm not saying you do, but you believe in angels, right? I believe they exist. Yes. How you doing, brother? Exactly. Right? <laughs> exactly. And yeah. why do you believe they exist? Because the Bible says it, right? Can you prove it? Of course angels exist. Exactly. Because so the Bible yes. says it, right? Yes. Yeah, so there's the some Bible things you can prove through science and some things you're not going to believe. Look at that. I know angels are around me. Yeah. I can't tell you my, my testimony. I know that. I've had, a, I've I've had my own experiences. Own yes? Facts. No, faith. Our kingdom operates by faith, not by works. So you can't access that kind yeah, of experience. Work. You can't. Light work. It's a, it's a, light it's a work. higher level. Light work. Why do you think it's light work? Because you have to just believe in Jesus, and you don't like. Yeah, but you're. Sorry, 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 sorry bro. You believe that a man dies for your sins yeah. through blood sacrifice. Yes, sir. And then, uh, then you just live your life. No, no. Jesus That's says, "If you true. love me, you'll no. keep my commandments." No, you know, you know, what's the command? Are you saying? Are you saying? Repass me five. No, no. But this is. No, no. I'm going to let you. They're not saying the truth. I'm not Christian. Are you saying? Are you saying that in your religion you only require belief? Actually, don't say huh? you saying, that's a good question. That's a good question. Hear it. Are you saying in your religion you only require belief and no actions? Let me let me let me, do they come can together? I answer that? Or do can they come together? Good. Let me answer that Go and give it context. Go ahead. Right? Oh, I said earlier, say, hold on. Now I want to hit. Now there's three types of natures that we have. Nature. Yes? Yeah. Human nature, yeah. the sin nature, yeah. and the divine nature. Yeah. The sin nature came about, hold on, bear with me, yeah. when Adam and Eve sinned. Okay. That sin nature dominates every human being, yes? Okay. We are compelled to corruption, mm -hmm. yes? Those are the three natures. Your question is, sorry, I was going somewhere with this. My question just was, in your religion. Yes, okay, yeah, yeah, I got it, I got it now, sorry. I got it now. Do so, you, so there's nothing, there's nothing good, yeah, I know your question. With only belief and no actions? Yeah, good. Or so, so let me ask you this, okay. yes? Let me say this, yeah. your, there is nothing good in you or me we are sinful creatures. We are sinful, yes, I agree. there is nothing that we can do, yes, to exonerate sin or draw close to God. No, I nothing. That's, I believe that's false. No, hold on, bear with me. In okay. our own strength, what do you mean? What in do you mean? our own way, our own methods. No, but if God tells hold you. Hold on, hold on. So, God sent Jesus Christ. Yes? Jesus Christ, when he died, he took the past, present, and future sin. He was crucified for our sins. Now, this is what happens. When you believe in Christ and what he has done on the cross, what he does, and you repent of your sin, by the way, he gives you righteousness. He gives you blamelessness and justification. So hold on. So it means that you are already accepted, loved, forgiven into the kingdom of heaven. Hold on. Without action. Without action. Hold on. Okay. Your faith. Yeah. Position in Christ yeah. and what he's done to the cross to causes okay. you to be saved. Okay. Hold on, hold on. Okay. Now, works are good and have their place uh -huh. because works are essential, but it doesn't save you and it doesn't address your sinful nature. So you're confused. So you're what what Ed is trying to say is basically, if I accept Jesus now, yeah. man can still go out and smoke a bit. No, of no, you can't. no, you can't. no. Because it does when, when, when you accept Jesus Christ, He comes inside of you and begins uh. to change you and give you different desires. You got a dirty mind. Sorry, sorry, that's right. Oh, so he, he he gives you different desires okay. and begins to transform you. So, so I'm, I'm just and it begins to drop. So belief comes with action. Right, yeah. I want, I want faith and works go together. Yeah. Yes. I want to explain because I want to go from the text. Uh, they come together. Uh, they come they come together. together. Right? My point? So it says here in James two. I'm going to ask you a question with this. Yeah. No. Let, let him because what he's let saying is faith is the key that unlocks the door. Exactly. Now when you're in the house, yes. Now you've got to do the work. Yes. Exactly. But I hear a lot of fishing. So, so, so your, your question is, when Adam and Eve sinned, 
every other person came under the law of sin. Is that fair? Yeah, that's what question, your question. Second and your second question you is. Said, you said that Sorry, go ahead. A person doing actions does not make him go closer to God. How is that the case? Okay. Why? Because when you do actions and you have belief, yeah. you're doing actions to please God. This is a valid question. So does that not look and you know what? I'm glad you're asking that question because I know you're sincere. That's how you're thinking. Right. The reason why we're under the law of sin is because genetically we come from Adam and Eve. All right. Your son looks. Are you got children? Me, no, That's I'm 19. Right. right. Do you look like anyone in your family? Like your father or mother? I look like my uncles, yeah. No, look like uncle. Right, good. So there's a genetic code, right? Yeah. That goes down from generation to generation. Okay. The sinful genetic code, if you like, the sinful nature follows every one of us. We are born under the law of sin. Is different to no, no, no. My dad's a murderer. Why do I deserve the sin of my father? No, 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 no. You don't, you're not paying for that sin. You are though. Yes, but you inherit his sinful nature. Why is that? Because you are part of the human race. We are, we are all fallen. We are all fallen and we all derive from Adam and Eve. We're born into sin. We have a sinful nature. That's it. No, no, no. It's true. No, but, 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 but how can you, for example, yeah, a baby that's born? Yes. How can you attribute if that person dies to him? Well, the thing is this: my my son looks like me. But there are things that he takes from me. The, the genetic code. But, okay. My but genetic that's, code but, 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 is uncle, transferred uncle, to my son, child. Uncle, can a son end up completely different as the father? Huh? Can a son? Not sub, not isolated from the no, father. I'm not, no. no, I'm not talking about. I'm not, I'm Genetically. Not, behavior, behavior, the way he is. Well, there's many cases where a father was, I don't know, some a crazy, son some crazy person. Will always the son, have, a the son person. will always have the genetic code of his father. Yeah. And genetic, his mother. Bottom line, fact. Yeah, but that's it. A genetic code includes behavior, characteristics, minds, different things. So what I'm saying to you is, the second thing you ask is, why is it that the more works we do can't help us get what, closer to God or deal with our why sin? Doesn't, why doesn't work? If you have belief, why do you believe that doing your works yes. and doing good deeds does not make you closer to God? Does not make you closer to God. Because all good. Of sin, short of sin, short all of, of us sin. All of have sinned, sinned and sin separates us from God. Yes? And there is nothing we can do in our so own... Hold on, hold on, brother. Let me ask you a question. Yeah, hold on. There's nothing we can do in our own flesh. Yes? That can reconcile us back to God because we are sinful. Yes, even we are baby. separated. Even baby? A baby is born into sin. Yes. Why do you have to correct a baby? Sorry? Why do you have to correct a baby when it does, when it lies or does something wrong? No, if it's one day that's old, sin nature. If it's one year old and it dies, it goes to heaven. That's the nature. It goes to heaven. If it dies, it goes to heaven. It only it's born into sin, but it's going into heaven because they're not at the place where their understanding is mature that's, enough that's right. to make a decision. Yeah. That's, no, no. But you know this stuff. You know about this stuff. You know about this stuff that you just said. That's yeah, the reason why you have to correct a child huh? because they don't have that mental stability of what what's right and wrong. Yes, that's, that's why, why they, they go to heaven. Them. Yeah, they go to heaven. Sin. No, no, they're born sin, but they commit sin though. They still sin. Babies sin. Wait, 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 children lie. I want to ask something. I just want to ask one thing. Children lie. I just want to ask one thing. I just want to ask you one thing. I just want to ask you one thing. Right? So is it wrong for Jesus to become? Is it wrong for Jesus to die on the cross for man's sin? For me, I don't believe Jesus is there. But was it wrong for Jesus to die on the cross? I don't believe that. For 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 sins. What we believe, he's still alive. Okay, it's wrong. So why does why is it Muhammad says this in Sahih Muslim 2767? Abu Musa reported that Allah's messenger said. When it will be the day of resurrection, Allah would deliver to every Muslim a Jew or a Christian and say, that is your rescue from hellfire. So you, so we're replacing you when it comes to hellfire. What did you say? What read that again, read that again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Read it, read it again. Okay, so let me read it again. Sahih Muslim, 2767. Abu Musa reported that Allah's messenger said, when it will be the day of resurrection, Allah would deliver to every man, Muslim, a Jew or a Christian and say, that is your rescue from hellfire. So basically what, you're, what, what Muhammad is saying is that he will place, he will, he will murder Jews and Christians for your sin and send them to hell. Where did you get that context from? This. That is not sin. He's going to send us to hell for your sin. Where did you get that from? Literally says that here. It says that here. Listen. Do you not read? 
I mean, no, I'm, I'm speaking clear English. No, I'm talking to you. Well, you just said it's God's sake. Abu Musa. Where, where, where is hell mentioned? Abu Musa. You believe Jesus is God. You believe that. What you believe? Can you explain me, please? I don't understand that. I have this conversation. I never. It's my first time here. That's why I'm asking what you believe. Can you tell me? In your heart, what, yes. what you believe? Jesus, Jesus is God. God. Yes. You believe that, yes. and also so you believe you he's the Son of God. I can give you scripture. I give you scripture. No, no, no. You believe he's he, yes. he's a God, he is the son and of God. also he's the Son of God. That's correct. Yes. So, so two things. Yes. yes. Can you explain that? How 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 that one is happened? Very simple. Yeah. Can you explain that? In the book of John. Because you're copying. No, no, no. You Don't talk about the book of John. The Bible explains itself. But if you, I will only explain it through the Bible. Huh? Through the Bible? Yeah, the only explain it through the Bible. Well, because I don't have a separate authority. The Bible explains no, no. itself. No, no. No, no. Je no. Look, the, the, Bible, the Bible defines the Bible Jesus as fully God Why? and fully man. Can you show me that? John chapter 1, verse 1. <laughs> 1 to 6 and then verse 14. And tell him read John 3 16 also. Tell him, please tell him. I'm a Muslim also. Tell him to read John 3 16. If he tells you that Jesus, if he tells you that Jesus is all God, tell him John 3 16. But can you tell me the definition? Tell him John 3 16. John 3 16 says, what does John 3 16 say in your Bible? The nature, the nature the nature of Jesus Christ, again, is fully God and fully man. Shh, shh, shh. Wait, fully God, fully man. There were times, I know. There, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There were times, there were times that he expressed himself through his humanity. And there were times he expressed himself, hold on, through his divinity. It all depends. So when he spoke, he was speaking in one of those oh, two I'll wait, I'll wait for him. contexts. He was, he was born, yeah? Very simple. He was born. His mom is Very Mary, simple. A God, he has a mom. You need to, you need Humanity. to ask a man. He tell you John, Human, how many John times Ward am I going to say John Ward. Ward. It's, it's, no it's like knocking read, your head on the wall. Tell him to read John 3.16 to what explain that Jesus cannot be God. John 3.16. I'll show you many passages where he says God. My brother, John 3.16. But he, a man right. has a John, no. he right. a the brother just quote to me yeah. that Jesus is fully man, fully God. Amen. I understand that. Yes. That's what he said to me. Yes. I understand it. Yes. But you gave us text and you gave us about reading this one and that one. Oh, I tell you what's about Many John 3 16. What about John 3 16? What, 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 what does it say? What does John 3 16 say? What does it say? What do you mean what, what does it say? It? What, is, what, what does your <laughs> chapter say? No, you, you tell us, you're making no, the point. No, no. You here? tell me what does your chapter say. Tell us. Tell me what does your chapter say first. John 3, 16. No, your chapter, before John 3, 16, your chapter. John saw them call What is your me. point? No, that's not true, we didn't say that. Madam, John I read this, I read this, this is John 3, 13. This is before no, John 3, But he hasn't made his, he hasn't made his point. No, no, I read it to bury him because he doesn't believe that Jesus is right? What's your point? No, what, what is your point? No, he's saying to me, my point is, you saying to the brother that was there that Jesus is fully God. And fully man. Now, and fully God and fully man. Yes. yes. So I am telling you, if Jesus is fully God, yes. John 3.16 didn't say that. What does it say? What does it say? Read John 3.16, go ahead. Go ahead. You're please. quoting it, what does it say? Go read. ahead. You need to quote what you quote to the brother earlier on. Read it, read it, read it. I'll read John 3.13 so we can get context. Thank you. He will, he will, but he's trying to get context for John 3.16. Is that your champion? Yeah, that's his, that's his daddy. <laughs> he won't come, he knows me. Yeah. It's so terrible. Shut up the baby champion many times. If he wants to come over, he can. So, uh, <laughs> he cannot tell the brother. Do you, know, do, do you know why he's not coming? I am here helping you. So your boy is not coming. Do you know why he's not coming? You don't run. What I am say, here. What uncle says make no sense for uncle me. Uncle is what saying what? that Jesus is fully God. Yeah, but he has fully man. man. So I am telling him he's going to sit to me. Alright, alright. How are you? Good. Hey, how you doing? You alright? Not he good. Yes, good. Left. Praise God. Praise God. Well, um, I don't do debates, but hey, yeah, I'm preaching the gospel. Absolutely, you know. 
Well, right, so let, let me just read out John 3.13, because this is just a waste of time. Right? Yeah. So it says here, no one has ascended to heaven, but he who came down from heaven. That is the Son of Man, Jesus Christ, who is in heaven. How can Jesus Christ say he's, he's in heaven if he's not good? He's telling the brother in the run, the brother in the way, that Jesus You can't answer him. Okay, I'll go first. I'll Big man. First. Oh, that Jesus is God's man. What are you saying? Big man. It's all good, bro.